Another cool feature or rather software in this case which waits for the implementation into the game is Steam Audio. In this video we will talk about this audio tool or plugin, mention the sound issues the game currently has, mostly for the newcomers to EFT and also show you what Steam Audio is capable of. In the previous podcast we heard Nikita talking about the future implementation of Steam Audio into Escape from Tarkov. The subject didn't raise too much interest at that time, probably because it is or was unknown for the other guests of the podcast, or maybe because they didn't pay attention to what Nikita was trying to say. He mentioned Steam Audio and said that this tool will make sound positioning in the game a lot better than it actually is, and will add more sound depth and immersion. Now to catch your attention a bit, let's quickly have a look at what Steam Audio does when integrated into a project. It's just a small demo. The game faces some audio problems currently. The guys who attended the podcast talked about them and we saw that Nikita's reaction was positive. Such problems are known in EFT and will be addressed in the future. First with some simple workarounds or patches and finally we hope with the addition of the audio tool or software called Steam Audio. I play most of the times in a squad and there are some raids where we walk through the forest on woods or we head from the gas station to construction on customs for example and we hear shots. Now sometimes it is hard to pinpoint the exact location of those gunshots and you have to turn towards them or even completely turn around to figure out where that shot came from. You even have teammates asking was that old gas station or construction right? So sometimes sound location is off and as I said in order to locate it you need to wait for the sound to be reproduced and then turn around until you get the place where it's coming from or simply just to confirm it. Now this may not happen to everyone but we got this several times in our squad and we do use pretty good headsets. Thick the thickness. thickness! The other current issue is that sound can be heard through thick floors or on other side of the walls, which is first not realistic, second very unpractical and treacherous, giving away your position and getting you killed or making you very easy to follow. This will be patched in the next intermediate patches according to the podcast. The thickness. thickness. Another sound problem is the noise you make while moving stealthy and crouched. Even prone is extremely loud. FairTX mentioned this in the podcast as well, it is very annoying when you go interchange for example, you see someone and try to approach or find a better shot, but then you hear yourself... And maybe related to this is the other problem everyone is having, bushes being way too loud even in stealth mode. Now the argument the devs bring against this is that the more you train your covered movement skills, the less loud you are. I haven't reached elite level with that skill, but I still believe the sound needs some attention, it is way too loud. I don't think it's accurate. In real life you don't have to have ninja skills to jump out of the window when your parents go to sleep and go visit your girlfriend, right? I did it so many times without ninja training and it worked. You, you may say... Dude, that was Stone Age. We have WhatsApp now. Please don't compare WhatsApp with a personal visit and a possible happy ending. But I'm going a bit off topic, right? So sorry for drifting. Steam Audio comes as a solution for all these problems and apart from that, improve the current audio environment by adding more immersion, more depth, better reverberation and an overall better gaming experience. I am not a sound engineer and don't know how easy or hard the addition of Steam Audio into EFT will be or how Steam Audio actually works but by watching some videos and reading stuff here and there I realized that it is awesome actually. To explain what Steam Audio means here is a definition I found on the web I am going to back it up with some videos to make you understand what it is by seeing and hearing. 
Steam Audio is a software tool that offers a full-featured end-to-end spatial audio solution for games and VR. It renders accurate positional audio using head-related transfer functions and uses physics-based sound propagation to create reverb, reflection and occlusion effects that recreate how sounds are affected by the virtual environment. So here are some examples with Steam Audio built into projects. You will understand the definition better when or after you hear or after you see the video, the small videos. Please use headsets. Some of the videos are from other content creators. I'm not going to copy and paste them here entirely. I added the links to the description box. Go give the guys the views. It won't be fair using them completely. I'm not the author. Credits go to the authors. Links down below. The disturbances began this afternoon in the center of Vancouver and have spread to the city's poor neighborhoods. Indian raids at the Alberta Regional Center continue to cause the community to be a city of violation. David Dark's son was infected, saying that the Prime Minister and his office prefers to keep hidden in the airline and the transport. <laughs> So you can clearly notice the difference, right? Especially in this last demo. The direction of the sound is more precise and more immersive. I also saw an increase in sound quality. And I am sure a sound geek can say a lot more about this. I apologize for not being familiar with the sound nomenclature, but I guess you get the point, right? Steam Audio is free and is compatible with a lot of engines, one of them being Unity, of course. It was called Phonom before, but Valve bought it and renamed the company to Steam or the product, the software to Steam Audio. I am really curious to see this implemented in a game. I am sure we will have better sound after an update like this one. Also hoping for a permanent fix regarding the other issues I mentioned. What do you guys think about this update? What do you guys think about Steam Audio in general? Maybe you have some or you had some experience with it. Is it old? Is it new? Is it good? Is it bad? Write down some comments in the comment area below and we'll definitely read them. Anyways, this was the second part of my future plans review for EFT. The first one was about the hideout. Check that video out as well and see what's about to come. Also sub and like this video if you found it interesting or informative. 
patrons thank you very much for the support so far remember to not play too much guys and keep an eye on real life red seven out peace